Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Pumpy McSquiggums here. Oh, the Banner Saga 2. It's going to be horrible. Probably. Anyway, we're continuing with the Banner Saga 2. This is episode 7. I just... Uh, it's going to be bad. I can already tell. <laughs> I can already smell it. It's not going to be great. Alright, we need to rest because apparently some people got owned. And apparently we need to rest some more. There we go. No one is owned anymore. That is fantastic. It is time for us to travel. How do we exit? Is this the, that's the leave. Not about training. We have some renown. I think we're going to need it for food, though. All right, we're going to leave for now. We'll see how it plays out. There's no telling. Continue along with your much smaller but sexier caravan. Ravens in the air as ravens approach. Oli says with a slur. Is that a good sign? The small village ahead looks well fortified with a few bodies outside the fences being picked clean by the birds. Their caravan moves closer but stays out of arrow range. Whoever's in there wants to be left alone, Folka says, but it could be our best chance for supplies around here. Not worth it, we keep moving. You approach the village, stating your needs. Split and attack! Let's, uh... Stating our needs. You grab the raven banner and advance on the town, dodging a warning arrow. We need supplies, you shout. You know who we are, who I am. A few moments pass before several more arrows have passed you, one grazing your shoulder near an old scar. Begin the raven's song and charge. We're gonna go and kill them. The ravens pick up the song, crooning harmonies which unsettle the villagers as you all rush the barricades in a solid wall of shields and fury. Alright, so this is going to be pretty nasty for the folks that shot arrows at me. Alright, I think that it may behoove me to move you here. I think I'm going to drop you out. We're going to have Oli, or Oli, Oli, have Oli come forward. So I'm going to move her first, you second... Probably Mogan third, fourth, fifth. I don't. Something. This is not working at all how I had planned. Um, whatever. We're gonna go with it. It's fine. Ready for battle. We'll see exactly what happens this time around, folks. We'll see. Oh, just a bunch of archers. Hmm. Hmm. Well, our shieldy gal here. Whatever. It's all fine. Let's go. She can actually attack over the wall. That's interesting. I like that. I can live with it. You know what? I'm not going to move there. Let's see. We move somewhere. We can move somewhere. This is all adjacent to targets. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I move here, I could probably do something. Who is this? Oh yeah, we can totally do some damage to you. Get wrecked! <laughs> right in the face! Yeah, clear these fan barricades, all of them! Alright, she's gonna shoot and do like zero to zero damage. Alright, I assume that he's like ranged, right? He seems pretty ranged. Nine damage to the barricade. How much health do barricades have? Do we know? Like, I don't wanna waste. Ener oh, they have ten. Darn it. So I don't really wanna waste energy on barricades at this point, but we'll see. Ooh, we're gonna do four damage to me, huh? To start off. Alright, that's cool. Alright, I'll move over here and I will attack with much pain and suffering and hatred and anger and other things like that. Alright, so this is going to be mildly inconvenient and super ridiculously annoying, but in the end it shouldn't be too bad. Like, we should be fine, right? We do 11 damage there. Mogan, well played, sir. Well played, Mogs. It looks like our fearless leader is uh, kind of getting destroyed right now. 
He's definitely not enjoying life. Alright, and apparently... There we go. So, and apparently his willpower wasn't kicking in. I was one step short of that. Ooh, I hit my own guy. That's a bit awkward. I'm sorry! Okay, we're gonna have to back him up soon. Alright, the attack is going to be real. And it's going to be fairly decent, too. A little bit of chip damage there, and definitely gonna back him up. He doesn't seem to get to do a whole heck of a lot, unfortunately. Oh, so I can't puncture your face, huh? So what if I move over to the side one step here? Can I... You know what? I'm going to go for this. I'm going to break it down. And then he's going to be able to get through and actually do some damage. She's going to be able to do a little bit... Oh, God! She did way more than a little bit there. That was, uh... That was actually really... Trim Why? How? How did she do that? Alright, who's next? Her? Okay. What is that? Axe Storm. Throws axes for strength damage until one is deflected. Huh, interesting. Alright, I'm going to move over here. And I am going to attack you. With everything I've got. Yeah! Oh, keep going! Aw, oh, deflected. Alright, two damage, and he falls. Of course he does. Gosh, that guy is such a weenie. For the leader, he is such a lame, horrible, awful leader. He really is terrible. But again, he got shot with like 340 arrows, so I guess I can't really complain. And that looks like our gun off replacement is going to be pretty awful right now, too. Which I gotta say, I'm not a fan of. However, attacking this will break open a few more spots for us. And it's going to be our Tempest that's not going to be able to do as much as I would like. But we're going to take it anyway. And we're going to hope that it's enough. Alright, Tempest, and let's do it. We're going to fool all out on it. And we did almost no damage, but then we did a whole bunch of damage after the fact. Ooh, breaking our Shield Maiden down. That's interesting. That's an odd tactic to employ, for sure. Alright, well, we're going to get rid of you, I guess. Goodbye. And he's going to get shot a few more times. Oh, deflected! I am a fan. Alright, I come around the backside here, and I'm going to say good day to you. That's one less. Not super concerned anymore. We're still going to win, but man, it sucks that our boy had to get owned like he did. Another easy kill there. And you're going to move over and get deflected again. You know what? I want to do Bloody Flail. I do. Slice and dice and dice and slice and slaughter, murder, death, kill. And now it's pillage mode time. Alright. The Bow Master Champion will not survive, unfortunately, for her. Gonna break through that. Unfortunately, I can't quite make it over there myself just yet. However, I can kill this. That'll make me feel better. Ha! And then I will probably just come over here and, and do this and just chuck axes at her because why not? And Oli! Oli did it! Bulwark is such a, a sissy. The foes lying dead at your feet would regret ever crossing your path if they were still alive. <laughs> Whatevs, we got some renown. At least 12 again? Yeah, 12. What? Alright. You kick down the last of the barricades to find a dozen or so remaining villagers huddled together. Some have bows, but no arrows. The others have thrown their blades to the ground. A man steps forward. I'm Friedrich, the oldest of us, he says. We've been fighting off all types of ors, all types from Orms a dollar for two weeks now, just trying to protect what's ours. He looks back at his people and says, you won't find us begging for our lives. Folka pulls you aside and says, they know how to fight, so we'd be stronger if they'd join us. 
You pull out your beard. Or I can make them gather food for us, you say. Alright, you've got this one chance to join the ravens. You're coming with us, without your blades and bows. We're not going to kill you, but we're taking what we need. Given the chance they'd kill us, they die. Well, you are going to join the ravens. Friedrich pauses only a moment to consider your offer. I doubt you'd leave us with much to defend if I said no. Well, we've got no choice but to fight at your side. You grunt your approval to Folka, and she takes over introductions. Well, we gained 14 fighters. Are we going to get some food, too? Because we need that. Spar, an old wanderer who joined the ravens over half a century ago, points at the tents on the edge of the village. Looks like merchants are still here. Maybe they were being forced to stick around. Sweet. All right, we're going to go to the old marketplace, because we won't get a lot of options or opportunities to do so. That being said, we're going to go with our supplies that we need desperately. And I think eight's probably a decent amount. All talent, arm three, divert arm attacks, two strength, one armor per turn, minus one movement. Uh, two armor on rest, that's not bad. In fact, I think I'm going to grab that one. Okay, we're going to back out. We're going to go over to the hero's tent here. One or more of your units is injured. Injured units can still fight, but have a penalty to max strength equal to the number of days wounded. They heal as time passes when resting in camp. So three days for him to actually get healed. That is a bit brutal, but it's not so bad. All right, what do you, you have a total of 10... What do you have? You have a total of 13. You have a total of 12 that you could have. All right. Uh, what about you, Folka? Ooh, you're actually pretty pretty epic. All right, so we're going to try to promote you. Continue. we use the 9 Renown, and we're going to give you an item right now as well. We're going to give you this. Two armor on rest, in case you actually can survive to do that, which is nice. And then that one is 15% dodge strength attacks. All right, we have two points available to us, so we're going to go one here and one there. Confirm and done. So you can now use more willpower per turn, so two instead of one. And, yeah, I like it. It looks pretty good. I think that was the right choice. Getting him upgraded wouldn't have been terrible either. All right, we have one renown left that we're going to spend on food. Don't you know who I am? Yes, I do. Here, have some food. It's not ideal, but it's it'll work. We have 13 days worth of supplies. We're going to have to rest here. Probably for two... We'll go for all three days. I'm fine with that. Alright, let's head on out and leave. we really got to get Bulwark into the right position to actually do some damage. I feel like he's always in the wrong spot. Alright, hopefully, after a little bit of time here, we either come to something that gives us something to do, or we get a fight and then we can end the episode after that. I noticed the others aren't so good at spotting food, Oli... Oli, Oli, I want to call him Oli. Oli slurs. It's only. That's only a good thing I spent some time with the Trigvi fellow. Taught me what's what. But I nearly killed myself in those jagger bushes over there trying to get these. He steps aside to reveal a large basket full of mushrooms. He looked to Folka, who shrugs. We need food, she says. Sure, these are okay to eat? Sure, I'm sure. Been eating them all day, he says, taking a bite of one. A little bitter is all, but nothing a swig of mead won't solve. He sw drinks, swallows, and slaps his belly. Well, take them with us. Oli stumbles a bit while hoisting the basket up into the cart and grabs another mushroom for his efforts. Others clap him on the back to show their appreciation. Let's hope that doesn't bite us in the booty. I think we're okay, but we'll see. I, I'm I seeing irons fly. If only once more... If only once more. Eh. Not quite there. Alright, so we're going to go check out Ironfly, I guess. It is going to be fantabulous, I think. We'll see. I think we're probably going to end up... Uh, well, it depends on what happens here. Oh, that looks pretty cool. It's a giant iron bird. Shut up. Oh, I didn't... Darn it, I missed what he said. Okay, nothing. How do they write on that banner with white, I guess? Alright, let's take a peek here. Think the ghost of this dead bird has forgiven you for that wing yet? 
Spar asks. The other ravens, including Folka, look from the broken stone to you in shock. Aye, the old man says. We were nearly forty we were here nearly forty years ago, same spot as now, only a dozen of us left to the unkindness then. Better men by twice than all of you. There's rumbling, but the ravens keep listening. We'd run a job for a man, Pfeffer or Finner or Fainer, more like it. He says, spitting at the memory. He set us up to take the fall for some of the some of his other deals gone bad. We got surrounded here, and this bear of a varl loses his mind, grabs a tree, a whole tree, and starts swinging. Spar starts coughing but recovers. Nearly kills us all, but old Iron Ironix, or Iron, I guess, took a hit like no other, and there you have it. The excited ravens start asking you questions, but Spar is all too happy to answer. Study the bird shaped stone. Ironix, that's what I'm going to call it, uh, the god known as the Winter Bird, stands proudly on an eternal perch of snow and ice. Stories of seasons past, of hunting r Radomirs across the summer skies, of creating blizzards while flapping its wings to land in winter, covered the outstretched wings. While walking around the stone, your foot thumps on something hollow. You clear away some ice and find a wooden box, probably left by or as some token of faith to a dead god. Leaving anything behind for the dead is a waste, you say immediately, prying open the box and pocketing the small item within. Alright, the pipe plant. Well, I did forget to, re uh, not recruit, but equip the last item we got from a shrine. So I will try to remember to do that this time. Well, we're still trudging right along. I don't know how far we have to go before. Dun dun dun! Alright, sweet, we're back on the world map. We're doing pretty good here. Cold creeps under cloaks and forces the ravens to huddle together as wind whips around you. Snow begins to blot out the worm scale mountains in the distance, and you're forced to call for an early camp. Rising from your sleep, you get, begin pacing, occasionally drumming your fingers on the top of the large cart. A motion in camp draws your attention. Walking toward it, you hear groans and see Folka's shield rising and falling erratically among some furs. Humans, you snort. But the shield flips away, revealing a dredge grunt staring up at you. Stepping back, you bump into another dredge. Looking around, the entire raven camp is a swarm of stone-armored bodies desperately reaching for you. When your axes lash out through nothing, you realize you were dreaming. An unexpected sadness swells in you, like you've let everyone down. A few of your ravens are watching you, smirking, but your growl makes them look away. You decide to walk at the perimeter alone while everyone else slowly awakens. A little disturbing, a little creepy, a little awesome. We're going to go to the training camp here. Uh, well, we don't have any clansmen to train into fighters. We only have two Varl as well. This is not going well. What can you show me? Lots of neat little deadly tri tricks, uh, Holfi says, walking into the large tent. Try to keep up. You're a berserk, and we're all impressed, Holfi says, before spitting. But if you lose it out there in a fight and start killing your own, well, then you're just a pain in the ass. So, let's start with you and the shield maiden. You consider what he's saying. Feel up to the challenge? I'm ready. Then start swinging. All right, let's give this one shot, and then we will break off the episode. All right, what is our plan, our goal, our hope, our dream? Use Bulwark's Frenzy to kill two enemies with one attack. Use Champion to protect an ally from attack. How does Frenzy work? Attack twice. First is directed, then random adjacent target, friendly or foe. Well, this does not seem good. What is our order? That's our order. All right, I think we're going to back up. Ready! How far do you think he, he can move right there? Alright, that's cool. We're just going to chill here then. Let them try to close with us. And what we can do here is pretty good. We can go and use Champion to lower the damage on all of our folks. Two allies are protected by Folka's Champion. Skill. Alright, we're going to scoot forward now. And we're going to insult you, drive you back in range, or in initiative. Alright. Your horns are curved the wrong way, fool. I don't know if it worked or not. 
And the champion skill should have protected us, but it didn't seem to. Alright, I'm going to scoot forward a little bit here. I think I'm going to move there. We'll try that. End our turn again. These folks move on forward. We're going to step forward again. Try our champion skill one more time. See if the protection works. Oh, we're about to find out. There it is. It worked. Okay. So now, we're going to go crazy here. We're going to run on forward. And we're going to slap the living poo out of you. And we're going to hope that we can do some significant damage here. Bulwark. You must drop your first target with a single hit. I feel like if I move there, this could be bad. We'll see. Well, we can do this. Let's see what this does. Bulberg, your second frenzy hit must be an enemy that can be felled in one shot. Alright, so we're going to go over here and we're going to attack this guy. We're going to try to do some chip damage on him. And he attacked back. We're going to continue to focus on this guy. Oops. Go on. Move on over there, buddy. Move on over there. Attack with all your considerable might. Some more damage there. The unfortunate reality is I don't believe we have enough strength to actually annihilate anyone. Hmm. If we could get into position over here, we could probably do it. But it's going to be a bit sketchy at best. Alright, it's going to do 8 damage hit here. Oh, we did. We just did a double, huh? Wasn't really expecting that. I also don't know what that was. We just did some sort of weird shiny thing. I am all for weird shiny things, guys and gals. Just so you know, I am a fan of weird shiny things, but... There is a limit to all weird shiny things that I am a fan of. Alright, can Bulwark survive long enough to do this? And can Junior McGee over here actually do anything as well? I'm gonna try. We have an 80% chance. I think we probably can do it here. We're just gonna have to hope that it's enough. We got the hope that we actually hit an enemy here. Alright, here we go. The attack is real, and we hit our own guy. No! With careful positioning, we could have done it, but we didn't have careful positioning. And now we're going to be absorbing many, many more shots, it looks like. But, again, I'm not... I'm not too unhappy with how this is playing out right now. Alright, I'm going to move over here now. I'm going to try it one more time. And there's a better than not chance it'll work. Better than not chance. I mean, that's really all we've got. Better than not. Do a little chip damage there. Actually, it probably still won't work if I'm being honest here. Chances are we're going to hit one of these other people. Oh, uh, this is bad. This is really bad. Alright. Can we kill you straight up? No. We're less likely to kill you. Well, we can hope. We can hope. And we didn't attack the right person again. Darn it! Very, very unlucky. So he's going to go down eventually. I'm surprised he actually hasn't yet. Alright, we're going to attack you. A little bit more oomph. And again, we're going to be hopeful here that this is going to work. She's going to go down. That should have ended the turn. Oh no! We were still fine. I did the one. Oh, I'm super sad. I could have still frenzied and gotten through that. Oh well. 
Defeat three enemies with Berserk. At least I got an achievement. And we got uh, a promotion earned from that, which is weird. And we even earned some renown for, I guess, getting the uh, achievement. Anyway, folks, we'll try it again in the very next episode. Hopefully it goes a little bit better than it did that time. I was close on multiple occasions, but I got very bad RNG lucked, and I just didn't position my people well enough. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with another episode of The Banner Saga 2. And hopefully things continue to go at least mediocre for us for a while. That'd be good. Anyway, folks, until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.